Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I want to make this little video here on aloe vera. Um, that's the plant you're looking at right now. Um, aloe, in general, is uh, extremely, extremely versatile um, for medicine. Um, all different kinds of things you can use, you know, aloe for. Um, you know, you, you've probably seen it before in hand sanitizers, you've probably seen it in sun lotion, um, beauty products sometimes have them. Um, in some cases, even uh, things you ingest, like yogurt, uh, to help with digestion, uh, and, you know, all kinds of different things. But, anyway, my grandfather, on my mother's side, always had an aloe plant in the house, no matter what. I remember being a child, and just, he, he always had them. And I recently picked one up, uh, about three or four weeks ago. I was at, uh, Lowe's, and I was just doing some, uh, shopping for some other plants for the, uh, the garden in the front of the house. And I happened to see it there, and I thought about my grandfather, and I thought it'd be cool if I picked one up. And just yesterday, or no, excuse me, not yesterday, day before yesterday, uh, I had a chance to use it for something. Um, injured my hands. It's not that bad. It's basically just a scrape. Um, really long story, uh, but basically I was cleaning out, helping someone clean out their house, and we had garbage bags on the floor, and I was trying to walk past something, and I, you know, when I stepped in the garbage bags, I lost my footing because they all rubbed against each other, and, you know, it's kind of like a Three Stooges thing. I just, whoop, right in the air. And when I fell down, my hand went in the garbage and cut myself on something that was sharp in there. So, I mean, it's more, like I said, more of a scrape than a cut. But, um, you know, right away I washed it out because it was in the garbage. I didn't know what was on it. So I, I scrubbed it, you know, clean. Um, but when I got home, I actually took a little cutting. You can see here, this is where I, I cut the tip off. And I used the uh, kind of the juice from this plant um, to heal it. And it's actually doing really, really good. Um, although it looks like... You know, it's still kind of messed up. I, it, I hardly feel anything at all. It feels healed. I mean, obviously it has a little bit of way to go. But um, it just did an excellent job. So I just want to just show you real quick. I think it's a really interesting thing to have in the house. I mean, it's good to have live plants in your house anyway. Um, just because they look nice and bring life to the inside. Um, but it's a very, uh, very easy plant to take care of. You don't need to water it very often at all. In fact, once it's established and it's a healthy plant, uh, it can, you know, go through a drought. So even if you forget to... Uh, you know, to water it, it's going to be fine for a while. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot, you know, as far as space, this is kind of a smaller one. I think I paid three ninety five at Lowe's for this or something like that. But um, it's just kind of decorative, and it is definitely useful. And all you do is, you don't even have to, I cut a piece off, um, but you don't even have to do that. All you basically do is slice through the skin, and it feels like it, it's a real juicy type leaf. I mean, it's just filled with all kinds of, um, and even you can see the top here, just a lot of liquid inside. See as that kind of bulges up. All you have to really do is just take a knife, a blade, and all you have to really do is score the side, okay? Then peel it, peel it back just a little bit and take that kind of slimy inside and just rub it on your cut. Um, this is great for burns as well, okay? Whether you have sunburn or like an actual burn from a fire or something hot, it's just really, really versatile. You know, I would suggest if you don't know about aloe vera uh, to look it up on Google or something. There's just a whole, whole big history on this plant and so many different uses. But I'm just going to show you how to use that. Even though this is healing, I'm just going to give you a quick little demonstration. Um, I'm just going to top this. So I'm just going to cut just a little sliver. Whoop, a little sliver off the top just to expose those uh, juices here. Of course, using the uh, soldier today for this. Let's get a nice another little sliver. There we go. All right. So basically, you just base, you know, cut the skin a little bit. And you want to get to the uh, the juices inside. Now, hopefully, you guys can see this. I mean, it's just really filled with all this juice. Actually, you got my my jeweler's loop here. Let's take a closer look. And get this to focus. There we go. It's just really, you know, it's basically it looks like a shell. And the inside, like I said, it's it's kind of um like this gooey, sticky mess. But basically, you see it here. And this is just great. You basically just apply it directly to the wound, whether it's, again, a burn or a cut or whatever, and just leave it there. You know, if you want to, you could put a band-aid over it. I like to do it, you know, let it air dry, and just, it just, it works great. Uh, as far as burns are concerned, um, it kind of takes the burning feeling away. It kind of, you know, takes the heat out of it. Um, it just soothes it. It's really good for um, uh, bug bites. I've used it for bug bites before. Um, but it's just a great plant. I just want to give you a quick little demo and talk about it here. Again, for anyone who um, who didn't know. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know about it, but I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who didn't either. So hopefully this is somewhat interesting or fascinating to you. 
but uh, very very good medicinal plant uh, for the home aloe vera let's see the uh, official name here aloe barbadensis let's see aloe barbad <laughs> Barbadensis. I'll stick with that. All right, aloe barbadensis. But anyway, gives you a little bit of information here. But there it is, aloe. Like I said, if you don't know anything about it, look it up. It's very fascinating, and it's just a cool little house plant. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll heal up good. <laughs> the reason, the reason I'm really making this video is because I know once I do my reviews and stuff, people go, "Oh my God, what happened to your hand? Did you cut your hand? Did you burn yourself?" Actually, I got a. I had a burn on the back of my hand too, but that's all healed up, and then it's from this guy right here. Actually, not this specific plant, but from uh, from some aloe vera gel, believe it or not. Uh, before I had the plant, I had a burn on my hand, and uh, I used the gel for it. So instead of buying the uh, the product, I think it's cool to just take it directly from the plant. It's just kind of a novelty, but it is very effective. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I thank you for watching. <laughs> take care.